Hello and welcome back to Alien Isolation. Now we need to take the private transit to uh, the new sighting area that's uh, you know, better than the other area because it's new and exciting. Plus shotgun. You know, the rubbishy four shell shotgun. <laughs> Why is this a bad? But I mean, on the plus side, at least I can shoot people in the head and they do go and somewhat die, which is nice. It also means I can avoid stealth. No, non-stealthy kind of way. I'm just gonna stand here when this thing turns up. That's good. I guess one I did this already. Did I not do this? Did I not do this and make this exact same like statement about standing here while I was waiting for this thing to turn up? Oh good god. I need to turn my uh, phone off from rumbling otherwise I'm going to scare the piss out of myself. Right. Looks uh... Looks uh, legit, as they say. Hello? Anyone inside this lovely train car? that would like to identify themselves as not an alien? That would be grand. Excellent. Okay, to infinity and beyond. Or the Apollo Core. Whichever. A synthetic solution. <laughs> Wonderful. I like to think my trip to the Apollo Core will be uh, full of joy. Um, excellent, as they say. The only thing is, why is Apollo going evil? Is is a good question. Item maxed, okay. I can take that at least. Yoink. I want a medkit. Oh, I do want to make a medkit though. Ta da Now I have six again. I always feel like I need to have six medkits, it's like a thing. Yoink. Uh... Other than having a gander around here, is there anything I actually want to have a look at? Ooh, it's reading time! Right. Nothing in here. Tomorrow, together, number three. Together Tomorrow, Siegson's journey into colonial space and official history by Sebastian Sieg. First printed in I on Siegson. Uh, how long is this? <laughs> I don't want to read the entire thing. Okay, that's not too bad. <clears throat> While Siegson prepared its ascension into colonial space, its foothold was under construction. Sevastopol, a station with unparalleled potential, and a perfect position deep in deep space. Sevastopol began, uh, began as a free port built by Lorenz Sistec Development and funded by our friends at Geofund Invest. Oh, okay, nothing important. Investor. The station's opening would, however, coincide with tumult in the space race. Years of mismanagement and rerouting of the Solthedis flight path left Sevastopol in real danger of being decommissioned. Thankfully, Siegson were waking in the wings to re-energise this station, among many others. In 2124, we arrived in Sevastopol and made possible the buzzing cosmopolitan hub you see to get today. Cough, cough. I've come over to Apollo to find out what sent the synthetics crazy. This place has gone to hell. Apollo's redirected core android duties, and they've just walked away from the maintenance we requested after we got the news. Coolants everywhere, gas has escaped, and the primary access lift has shut itself down. I flagged the help request, but apparently I'm 45th in line. Systems are suddenly obsessed with hazard containment. I'm gonna find a way down. Spreading out. Okay, hazard containment always sounds promising. That's open. Is that supposed to be open? Metal detectors. Sounds like a bad idea. Sure, I can't just climb over here and avoid this uh, this entirely. It'd be kind of a bum if. Uh, you know, I gotta walk through here. Was there something in here that I missed? No, it's just the computer, wasn't it? Okay, cool. Look at the flames, it looks so good! Shame that I'm not gonna be able to melt them very easily anymore. If this sets off. Firearms detected. You've got to be shitting me. Place firearms on security conveyor. Um, please? There doesn't seem to be any glass here. Nope, I can't see any glass unless it's special... Uh, oh no, maybe, maybe there is? The flashlight seems to be a bit close. It, maybe it's like special glass I can't see very well. Alright, considering otherwise this is the most idiotic, convoluted, stupid way of ass ramming in this feature, I'm going to assume you can't jump over this. Let's assume that. Be like, oh, Mr. Halloween, we can't possibly jump over this. That'd be. Oh, 
I'll bet. Um, goodbye, glorious weapons. I take this as the last time I see you for a while. Honestly, though, this is so shoehorned. Like, I could jump over there, where I don't go through the scanner. What a wonderful idea. Door. Door still locked. I'm glad there's no weapons beyond this point, that's fine. But, uh... That's still stopping me getting through the door. Does this not count as a weapon? Just as well. So the door's locked, that's fine. Um, how do I tell it that the weapons have been deposited? Oh. Just just a slow door, I guess. Apollo core access elevator offline. Primary Apollo systems inaccessible. Okay. Ricardo, the lane's blocked off. The schematics they use for the Sevastopol sales tour should be nearby. See if there's a back door. Check the Apollo sales tool schematics, okay. Okay, let's see. There's a power conduit that links to the Apollo core. I can use that. You think you'll fit? Turn off the electrics, take some deep breaths, squeeze. Easy. Oh good. I'm not coming up there to pull you out if you get stuck. Well no, obviously, because you're the world's biggest coward and you'd rather sit there and do what it is you do in your little comfy chair, drink coffee and be evil, join Kendra in the world of grumpiness. 4930. Fine, no point having a bloody passcode if you write it two feet from the door. 4930. Gee, what not the passcode? Possibly be. Hardly not to a life conjure is gonna hurt though, right? I'll have to power it down first. Well, yeah. I thought I'd just, like, just go for it. Let's leave the power on and see what happens. NP. Okay, um, well, we need to power down the conduit before we can get in, so let's, uh, let's go over there first. You can, hear the t you can hear the sound of the fuel tank I'm carrying, I think? It seems I don't have one anymore. I'm not entirely sure what the rumblings are. By the way, I got a sneaky suspicion once we power down the thingy, all the robots in the combat and try and, like, sort of, like, disagree with us in a fundamental way. This is how I assume this will go, but we will see. Maybe my video game instincts are off. Please need some damn windows. So I'm intentionally trying to make it dark and spooky. Spooky. Blasting cap. Don't mind if I do. The only problem is he uses three charge packs per EMP mine, which unfortunately is all I can carry for some bizarre reason. I guess charge packs are really heavy or something. Ray, it's Chief. There's something wrong with your synthetics. The team I requisitioned to acid strip lower habitation just stopped in their tracks. They bought something about a hazard containment order, tried to get into my control booth, and then just marched off. I know I always complain about those spooky bald bastards, but now I've got proof their wiring's faulty. I've got a meeting with your boss Spedding tomorrow, and I'm gonna kick some ass. So when he starts kicking your ass, well, it's coming from me. It's like everybody on the station is like having a competition to be a bigger asshole than the other guy. Yeah, when my boss is kicking your boss's ass, it's gonna be my ass that's done kicking. Got it? No! What are you talking about? No one talks like that. Shut up! Alright, time to R-type some shit. Let's do this. Uh, some sort of squiggly thing. E. X. And, uh, yeah, R-type thing. I'm okay. Ricardo, conduit's offline for now. I've pulled up the Apollo schematics here. It looks like you can get to the access to the turbine shaft. There'll be an emergency shutoff nearby, but it won't stay off forever. You'll have to get inside quickly. Okay, so now I can just head in, right? Oh no, shut off the... Okay, then we can head in. Okay, but now it's going to be full of evil robots, because this is how video games work. I saw one evil robot in a hazard suit down there, which I'm guessing means I can't 
Can't zap him. Can't bludgeon him. Maybe a bit of both. Oh really? No robot shit? Alright, alright, it's fine. Just gonna save my game then. Save me uh save me a trip in case I knob this up. Which I will. Like. What if robots can get into the vents? I've already tried yet. Oh lord. That looks legit. Okay, which way do you wanna go? Not this way, but we'll have a look anyway. This is a robot man in here. There is not a robot man in here. Fabulous. I get really disagreeable when I find evil robot men who want to sort of savage me in horribly robotic ways, like strangulation, murder, murder strangulation. Awkward. Ooh, I'll put my reading voice back on. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Apollo sales one sheet. Apollo information sheet. Why an Apollo system for your deep space orbital station? Because you like to die. It's like rule 101, do not give station control to evil AIs. Honestly, is this- no one's read the sci-fi handbook. Sure, you wouldn't catch Picard installing evil AIs anyway, would you? Anyway, self-regulation and android maintenance. Security through removal of synthetic self-determination. Instant communication. No interference. Lightning fast data movement across the station. Reliable. Efficient. Self-sustaining. A true Zeke's and product. Also, massively evil. Watch out, it doesn't try and kill you. Whoa, it's one of the features. Oh. We error, okay. I have one zappy stick for ruining someone's nipples. Well, don't go in there yet, obviously. Okay. All the robots are on the floor below then. There's definitely a chap in there somewhere. There he is. Might be a little not to be spotted just in case. Aha! E, X thing, squiggly thing, other X thing. I'm getting this down to a fine T, or a fine squiggly X, whichever you prefer. Turbines off. Way should be clear. Better run. If Apollo systems overheat, they'll reboot. Run? Not running anywhere in this bloody game. It's all murdered. It seems like a horrible idea. Just saying, by the way. Should probably sprint through this one. Oh. This is gonna be tight. Good luck. Ripley. You're getting deeper into Apollo and your radio signal's getting faint. I'm gonna lose you soon. Great. Just keep him cross for me, huh? There's gonna be lots of drones down there, Rip. Could be dangerous. Samuel sacrificed himself so I could get here. I've got to try. I thought he was a pretty nice guy for a synthetic. Me too. I know you guys have this thing in the universe where synthetics aren't classed as people, but you could just say he was a pretty nice guy. I mean, who would assume he was like some sort of evil bastard or something? No one would do that. That's just rude. <laughs> anyway, where are we and where do we need to go? Oh, good lord. Access Apollo, which is obviously not going to be that easy, is it? That's just not how this shit flies. Right, I've got my new battery in there. Don't know how many batteries I currently have, but, uh, well, whatever. Ricardo, main entrance is locked. Any I'm going to have to go through the long way, aren't I? This way, and, like, round, and probably end up coming out through here. Idea what to do next. Ugh. Up with my earpiece. Yoink. Oh, gas mask collected. Nice. That was helpful. What if you could have got one earlier in the game? Do I need to put it on or can I just walk through? Also, I'd love to see what this terminal has to say, but it's always so risky when there's dudes around. 
I kind of wish it would pause when you're on these things. Anyway, if you want to read it, please feel free there.